I am Amit Gupta, AWS Solutions Architect. In this tutorial, we will learn how to train a model and interpret the various model performance metrics. Specifically, in this uh, flow, uh, we're going to focus on the train model box here. So let's head over to the Amazon Lookout for Vision console, where we have already imported an existing data set as part of our previous tutorial. And so here, what you see is, uh, in the previous previous tutorials, we uh, loaded a data set composed of 30 images, 20 were normal and 10 anomaly images. And you get useful information here on the dashboard where it says you have enough labeled images to train a model. So in this, all you have to do to train a model is just click on the train model button. And let's go ahead and do that. And once you click the train model button, uh, you get an indication on the status that the model is now being trained. The, the training time for the model can vary with the number of images and the size of the images. Uh, in the interest of time, we, already, we have already trained a model and you will see uh, once the model is trained, uh, the status will change from a uh, training uh, to training complete here. So let's go ahead and click on the model here uh, to look at the various statistics uh, the dashboard gives us here. So the very first thing that you notice is that the status message, the training has completed successfully and it gives you a very useful information on how long it took to train the model. In this case, about, about 24 minutes uh, to train about uh, 30 images. Uh, the model took 10 images for training purposes and it uh, is reporting the results on 20 uh, unseen test images here. So uh, the very first thing that you notice are the various performance metrics uh, like precision recall and F1 score. So the model is reporting a precision of 81.8% and that's calculated uh, with, with these numbers here. It's nine divided by 11, nine anomalies were correct out of 11 total predictions. Likewise, the recall percentage is defined by these numbers here. Nine anomalies were predicted out of 10 total anomalies, so nine divided by 10. And the F1 score is, is an average of these two numbers here. Uh, to also better understand the, the statistics better, uh, you can click on the info here. And on the right hand side, you will see the definitions of what precision, recall, and F1 scores are. Effectively, in this case, the precision is also giving you an indication of how many false positives were there. So there were two false positives, which is what's shown here. And here it's showing uh, how many false negatives were there. So there is one false negative and that's being shown here. The other very useful information is you can get a breakdown of total number of correct predictions through the filters functionality of the dashboard. So there were 20 test images and it is showing that 17 were correct and there were three incorrect images. So you can drill down further on which 17 were correct and predicted as normal. So you could click on this and it gives you an indication of uh, there, that there were eight uh, normal uh, predictions which are predicted correctly. And if you click on this one here, predict as anomaly, it shows you the nine images which were correctly predicted as anomaly. So you get a breakdown of, se of 17, uh, which is eight plus nine, eight uh, predicted correctly normal and nine predicted correctly as anomaly. And likewise, you can get a drill down of uh, how many uh, were you know false positives here. And it's showing that these two images were false positives. And likewise, you can find out which image was a false negative here. So uh, the filters functionality, you can drill down and get to the exact images which were correctly predicted and which were incorrectly predicted. Uh, the other useful information is if you click, click on all images here, uh, it gives you the various confidence scores. Uh, so with the, with the training, uh, you also get the label and the confidence scores here. So you can, uh, uh, sort these images with from highest confidence scores or you can sort it based on lowest confidence scores. Uh, another very useful information here is that uh, 
if you want to further improve the model performance here, you could consider adding more labeled images to your data set. Or in the next tutorial, we will also learn how to run trial detections and add you know, verified images uh, to, to the data set. And that concludes this tutorial. Uh, thank you for listening.